Hey everybody, welcome back to the Toilet Studios. I am your friendly neighborhood Starman. Welcome back to some more 7 Days to Die console edition. It is now the morning of day 15, and we are now at the aftermath of our previous, of our horde night, from our second horde night. And have I got an even bigger mess to clean up, because look at all this. Look at all these remains here. Yeah, and I'd like to apologize for no game audio, because, and the commentary you're hearing right now is post-commentary, because... Like I said, for the for the for quite a few episodes, for a few of my episodes that I've recorded, there was just there was it resulted in no game audio and no commentary of audio as well because, and as I explained in the description that my laptop went through a system update and it reverted the settings on my OBS, you know, the microphone and desk and desktop audio settings to it, re it was reverted back to default and I had no and I had no idea about that, so I learned that the hard way. So a few of the recordings I had for the episodes that you, in the previous episodes, you know, resulted with zero audio, none. So that's why you're hearing my commentary, post-commentary. So I do apologize for that, but I'm doing my best to improvise. <laughs> did my best to improvise and try and put on a show for you guys because I really just don't want to skip ahead to the, to the day, to, on, to the day, you know, when the, when I have proper comment, live commentary. Yeah. I really don't want to do that because it, it, because there's no turning back, and I cannot make a backup file on console. Yeah, I can't make a backup file, but so I'm just gonna have to go with what I got and improvise. But if you guys still enjoy the videos, thank you. I'm, I really do appreciate your support. I do appreciate your support, and and I'm glad you're fine. I'm glad you're all enjoying my videos. <clears throat> and now I'm cleaning up all this mess. And once you hit the knife, the day 14 horde. You'll start getting some dogs spawned in, and, and I noticed that there were some dogs spawned in, and, and a majority of the zombies just came from the north this time instead of the west, like the last time. Yep, so much, so many of my log spikes damaged, and a lot, and I've lost a lot of, I've lost a bunch of spikes, so I'm gonna have to reinforce, have to repair them, and then reinforce them. This time I'm gonna reinforce them all into iron, that way I'll try and get better defenses. Yeah, I may have to do some extra work as well, and even some of the flagstone. The 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 reinforced flagstone was was all, also took some damage too, man. Yep. So give me a moment to do some cleaning up and also make some repairs around the the defense walls, and then we'll get down to business on what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. So time to put on some relaxing chill music as I do some cleaning up. All right, now that I got the back wall repaired, still needs to do a lot of reinforcement because I may have to get a lot of iron to reinforce the back wall. I'm going to reinforce the entire wall to iron, and I still need to get more iron to repair all these as well. Yeah, they, they also took some damage. All right, so now let's go ahead and head over to my storage containers. Let me start with my resources. I'm going to put away some of the stuff I got. Got a lot of stuff to put away. I'm just going to throw these away so I don't have to deal with them. Time to do, and then on my tools, I probably don't need the spikes or the frames just yet. All right, let's see. And what am I gonna need? As I took a look in the box, I, I, oh yes, I'm gonna take my shovel with me because I'm think I got some unfinished business to do, and that is to find that one treasure that I was attempting, the second treasure from that treasure map. Yeah, because I want to pick up where I left off and see if I can find that treasure. All right, let me go ahead and get the stuff I need. I'm going to get that forged iron from there. and see, what else do I need? I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the cloth. Take the duct tape. Let's see. 
All right, I'm gonna. I've decided to take the glue and the cloth so that I can make some duct tape. And I'm gonna. I've decided to move the glue over to the to the tools because you know I can. I glue and duct tape. Glue and glue and cloth make duct tape. And and I'm also making some making some repair kits so that I can repair my pistol. Yeah, because in, I wore off. I wore down a lot of my pistol's durability, so that's why I'm making some repair kits so I can get my pistol repaired. Yeah, I definitely do want to get my keep my firepower going, and I still got my shotty too. All right, I'm gonna throw these back in there. All right, <clears throat> all right. Give me just a moment to sort things out, and then we'll be ready to do something interesting. And that is go get that go get that treasure. All right, all set to go. Let's hop on our mini bike, Broncos country. Let's ride. <laughs> All right, here we are at the treasure spot. I'm gonna go ahead and park my bike here. Let me grab my shovel. Gonna need my pistol though. Yep, I gotta be armed and ready. Oh, I did not mean to do that. There we go, put it on my hot bar. All right, let's see. Here, this is where I left off. All right, time to start finding that treasure. Let's get to work, folks. Oh, what's this? Oh, it, can it be? Oh, uh, yes, there it is. There's the treasure. Oh, yes, we found the treasure. We found the treasure. Oh, look at that. Plenty of ammo, plenty of shotgun shells, and plenty of coin. Oh, that that feels so good. <laughs> yeah, we found the treasure. We found the treasure. Now I can finally get out of this bird forest. <laughs> yeah, I've had enough of this place. And man, look how much look how much digging I've done. Look how much digging I've done. I picked up some crushed sand. I picked up some dirt, stone. Yeah, I picked up all that in, the, in this biome. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, I had to. I decided to go ahead and max out my treasure hunter rank, get it to rank three. That way, it'll make things a lot easier for me to find treasure because I have more treasure maps, and I definitely do want to go and search down the road in the future. And there is one more treasure map I have available. Um, so now. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and mark this spot. That's where Trader Wrecked is, and we're gonna go see we're gonna go see Trader Wrecked, the rudest trader. But since there's no game audio, you don't have to hear his rude commentary. <laughs> All right, let's go see Wrecked and see what he has to offer, and let's spend some of this coin. Maybe I got stuff to sell too. Maybe he'll accept some of the pistols I don't really need at the moment. But yeah, <laughs> it was definitely worth the find. Definitely worth the find, and I'm glad I came back. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely glad I came back. Oh, 
There's a burn victim right there. Don't want to deal with him right now. So here we are at Trader Rex. So now let's go ahead and talk to him. Do now, but this burn victim's gonna make distract me a lot. So let's go ahead and get rid of him and get my shoddy ready. Back off. Boom. Let's see what you got. Nothing. Oh. Let's get rid of this one too. I don't want any distractions. Oh, how did I miss that? Silly me. Oh, man, I'm a bad shot right now. Yeah, because I'm just too happy that I found the treasure. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. All right. All right, now let's go see Wrecked. Oh, here's a corpse to search. Nothing. All right, let's go talk to Wrecked. Hey, Wrecked. Let's see what you got. <laughs> too bad the people watching this video cannot hear your, cannot hear your nasty comments towards me. All right, let's see. I'm going to take this bullet, I'm going to take the bullet casing, definitely going to need that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab all these 90mm rounds. Let's see, how many can I carry? Uh, it's a little too much. Let's see what's in your secret stash. Hmm, McDiver's book, shotgun schematic. Nope. But let's, I'm just going to keep browsing. Eh, nothing interesting. Nope. Nope. Probably need some... Probably need some resources too. Oh, let's take the bullet tips. I'm gonna go ahead and buy all of the bullet tips he's got. All right, let's see. Oh yes, I need nitrate powder. Definitely need nitrate powder so I can make some more gunpowder. I got lots of coal around, and I think that's about. I think that's about all I can get. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see what else he's got to offer. <clears throat> all right. Let's see. You know what? You know what? I'll just get... I'm just going to get about... I'm just going to grab about this much ammo. Alright, Wrecked. See you later. Alright. Now let's head on home because it's starting to get late. Alright. Let's, and I'm going to bask in the victory for a successful treasure find with a little bit of this little background music as we ride on our way home. And you know the drill, Broncos country, let's ride! <laughs> All right, now that we're back home, let me go ahead and get my things organized. And then I'm going to go grab some stuff I want to sell because I'm going to go pay a visit to Trader Joel and see if he's got anything I'm worth buying with all this coin that I've gotten for my treasure hunt. <laughs> might, as well, might as well do a little bit of spending. Do, go like a, on a little shopping spree. <laughs> yep, today was a fun day. So give me just a moment to organize my stuff and then we'll be, head, then we'll be on our way to go visit Joel. All right, now that we're all set, we are all ready to go. Time to go visit Joel before we wrap up today. All right, Broncos country, let's ride. <laughs> All right, here we are at Trader Joel's, and hmm, I probably didn't mention this to you guys that I probably just, I don't know if I did or maybe did not, but I'll go ahead and say it anyway. You probably noticed my workbench in the garage. 
yeah, I was able to get the mechanical parts I need. I was able to get everything I need to craft the workbench. So now I have my workbench. I can now start combining my stuff and etc. So now, <clears throat> yep, it feels good to have a workbench because I've been wanting one. And now I can, now, now the next thing to craft is a cement mixer. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and, and mix some coin or and, or buy some stuff that Trader Joe's got to offer. Ooh, a chainsaw schematic. Let's see. Should I take it or... You know what? I'll take it. I'll take the chainsaw schematic. <laughs> yeah. Chainsaw. Yeah, because... Yeah, I just don't remember if I did mention that I got a workbench, but... But I'll just go ahead and tell you guys that, yep, I finally got my workbench, and <laughs> now it's looking more like a garage. Yep, and I feel really happy that I'm making definitely great progress, and I was able to craft the garage doors too, because you saw me open and, op and open those big doors I have at my place. Yep, I finally have my garage doors, and, I, and everything's just going according to plan. Yep, things have just been really good, you know, I'm definitely making great progress, and now got some more improvements to do on my defenses for before so that we can get so that we can prepare for night 21 horde night yep there's yep like i said with each horde night that arrive it's not things are not really going to get e not going to get any easier you know they get more difficult as you grow in levels you know the zombies will get tougher and and the the horde nights will get even more challenging first we had dogs and who knows we may get we may get even some of the strong zombies that you only find like in par like the ones in Parish the cops. We'll even get cops and from what I from what I remember is that once you get to the highest point in the highest stage level in the game, you'll you'll start getting demolishers and and for your horde knights and demolishers are the worst are worse than the cops, you know, because they because they'll do a lot of AOE damage when they when they explode when they set when they set out their demolition charges attached on them demolishers yeah if I yeah if I remember correctly yeah been, the cops are a challenge enough but demolishers are the worst all right now that we arrived at back home let's I think we got just the stuff I need I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off and I think it's time we wrap up the the episode so. I'm sorry if it's like a short episode because I, you know, I do have a lot of post commentary to share with you guys because I am so sorry that there's just been no game audio, but I am doing just my best to improvise. But I'm doing a pretty good job, and if you guys still enjoy my videos, regardless, then I really do appreciate you for all your support. You know, it really does mean a lot to me, and I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying the series. I'll, I'm definitely going to keep the series going with all these views I've been receiving from my from all of my episodes of Seven Days to Die that I've been uploading, they have been amazing. I have never seen this many views in a video series. And and because of you guys, I'm I'm definitely gonna keep the series going. Because you definitely you definitely do like to enjoy my fun, excitement, comedy, and toilets. <laughs> oh yeah. So and uh, if you want to get my video to stand out, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button. I will greatly appreciate it. Every single thumbs up definitely helps this channel out, and it also makes my video stand stand out more in the recommended section. Yeah, I'm gonna be one happy star. Yep. And for day 16, who knows what I got planned? You know, we'll probably go visit some POIs and go and go and check out some stuff in on our probably someplace different from uh, quite a bit of distance, and we'll be hopping on our mini bike for that. But who knows? You know. That's that's something when I'll, we'll see, who knows what will happen in the next episode. So stick around for the next episode <laughs> or be looking forward to the next episode of Seven Days to Die. If you are new to my channel and would like to support me, hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification to stay up to date on all my latest activities. I do have a Discord server that you are free to join in and connect with me and my Starman fam. The link is in the description box below if you'd like to become a resident of Starcadia, the Eternal City. I do have my own merch store over at the Galaxy Hound website. The link is also in the description box below if you'd like to browse through Starman gear. I'd love to see you guys flying my flag. Now if you'd like to support me more personally, consider becoming a Star VIP by clicking the Join button. All VIPs get sneak peeks at upcoming vi new video uploads and have their names mentioned at the end of the video as you see right here. And also access to my custom emotes for my live streams here on YouTube.
Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. And remember, smile chat. <laughs>